picking leaks with JD today. You got to see the biggest leak patch in Crawford County in a second. <laughs> Everything that you see is green, is all leaks. And now we're gonna dig some. First leaks of the year. Oh, we're perfect. Nice. They look like JD. Perfect size. They're gonna be good ones. Find a small patch, like a 10 foot, 20 foot around, just take like 10 or 20 percent of it and then move on to another one. That way you're not, that way they'll just keep spreading and get some for next year. Okay, we got a couple buckets picked now. I'll show you exactly what they look like. Watching the videos on him digging them up, I decided to go get myself some. So he took a lot of good video on actually digging them up and getting them. So I wanted to kind of cover, once you have them, what do you do with them? So I just wanted to show you kind of my way of doing it. So you'll take the leak. What I always do, I just peel the dirt right off of them. So it takes it down to the bulb like that. And then best way I've found scissors, go right to the end of the roots there chop it off and then I go right to the red so then it ends you with that so most people just kind of throw these away I throw them on the compost pile for the garden um, but you could also take the greens and you can put them in with the salad if you really wanted to it just add a little zest to your salad a little bit of an oniony taste so pretty much all a leek is, is just somewhere between garlic and an onion. And I think that it goes well with both, and it also replaces both. I like to pretty much do anything that you would with an onion, I'll do with leek. So I'll put it in roasts, I'll put it with my steaks, I will make like a leek and potato and ham soup. I'll put it in my bologna, with my deer bologna, with my turkey bologna, anything like that. Um, like I said, pretty much anything you would want to do with an onion, you can do with a leek. And the nice thing about that is it's wild. You went and found it. So, there's a lot to be said about going out into the woods. You know, potentially harvesting an animal, like in spring turkey season, you could go out harvest a turkey and then pick leeks and then come home cut that leek up cut that turkey up and then you could actually cook dinner and everything that you just cooked dinner with was something that you found in the woods and that's pretty awesome I think that that's honestly why we do this I mean that's why I do it anyways so leeks are going to vary in size I mean everywhere from you know this little guy here all the way up to this big guy just the longer you let them go the bigger they'll get but you don't want to let them go too long normally about middle of april to the beginning of may is when you want to pick them they'll start getting kind of slimy and soft and that's not really what you want you want them to be firm and you know <clears throat> So if you find yourself wanting to go find some leeks and you're out in the woods and you're wondering, well, what the heck do they even look like? I don't even know what I'm looking for. So what you're going to want to find is they usually grow in patches. Normally you could find them with 10 plants or you could find them with a thousand plants. And with the smaller patches, like JD was saying earlier in the video, 
you want to kind of try and stick with like a 10 to 20 percent you don't want to go and pick three quarters of the patch and then come back next year and go oh where'd they go you have picked them all so what you're going to want to do is just kind of pick you know throughout the patch you'll pick say there's 10 plants there you might want to pick you know one or two three out of that small patch but you get into a patch where there's 60 or 70 you know, you'd want to pick 10% of it, but throughout that patch that so they can continue to spread because they'll just continue to just kind of branch out and pop up. Um, so, like I was saying, you find yourself in the woods, you're looking for leaks. What are you looking for? And you can look on the internet and there's all kinds of different ways of finding them or people showing you what they look like and whatnot, but <clears throat> until I was actually showed by somebody, it was kind of difficult to be sure you know you don't want to just go out into the middle of the woods and find some random plants and start munching on them so hopefully this can help um so you come across the patch they're gonna have three broad leaves three green broad leaves like that one two three that's a mature leak that's what you're going to be looking for so once you find that if you're still kind of like oh i don't know that red at the bottom of the stem where it turns from green to red to white, that's a dead giveaway. That's a leak. Now, if you're still kind of wondering like, oh, okay, sure. You can peel back that dirt and kind of peel back that first layer and smell it. And it's going to smell just like an onion. And that's your dead giveaway right there. They're going to smell like an onion. <clears throat> and like I said, you can put them with your onions or you can cook them at, like onions. I like putting them with, you know, anything. I, I like making omelets out of them. You take, uh, like, some cheese and eggs and leeks and cook them up. And then what's really nice is if you can find a walleye this time of year, you can uh, take that walleye and fry it up beside it and have a leek, egg, and cheese omelet with some walleye on the side. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, alrighty then, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on cleaning these. I got about a hundred left to do, so uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. I am gonna drop a little bit of a video here. We put a roast in the crock pot and I uh, put some leeks in it too, so I'll kind of show you how I like to incorporate it in my roast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to share it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. We appreciate you watching.